15 minutes. Weather every 10 and sports twice an hour. News Talk KGVO. AM 1290 and now 101.5 FM. You're listening to Montana Morning with Peter Christian. Three adults have been charged in the Lolo blow dart case. Good morning, everyone. It's Montana Morning. Our newscast sponsored in part by the Mustard Seed Asian Cafe in Southgate Mall. This morning's top story, three individuals are being charged with felonies following an intense investigation into pets being blow darted in Lolo last fall. Deputy Missoula County Attorney Andrew Paul said the months-long investigation has resulted in charges against three individuals, Tucker Miller, Matthew Breeden, and Hayden Barker. The Missoula County Sheriff's Office did a great job of investigating this case. They identified three individuals who were involved in shooting pets with blowgun darts, and we reviewed it, and charges have been filed against these three individuals. Paul detailed the charges and possible penalties in the case. Two counts. One count of aggravated animal cruelty, a felony, punishable by up to two years, Montana State Prison, and a $2,500 fine. Two of them are charged with tampering with physical evidence, punishable by 10 years, and a $50,000 fine. Paul said two of the three are represented by local attorneys who will be ensuring that their clients do appear in justice court to hear the charges against them. The court date has not yet been set. None of the three are currently listed on the Missoula County Jail roster. Following the resignation of Libby Oliver, the vice principal deemed responsible for the December data breach at Missoula's Hellgate High School. A new administrative team has been appointed. MCPS spokesperson Hatton Littman has these details. Effective immediately, Mrs. Hallie Copang will serve as the interim assistant principal of Hellgate High School. Mrs. Copang is a health enhancement teacher at the school, and she also has served for two years as a teacher on special assignment. Littman said one of the new administrators is the current Hellgate boys basketball coach. Mr. Jeff Hayes, a Hellgate mathematics teacher and the Hellgate boys basketball coach, will fill the role of interim TOSA and interim athletic director. Mr. Hayes will continue to teach halftime in the second semester of this current school year. The data breach, which occurred in December, included personal information about Hellgate students and some staff members. Oliver was charged with failure to follow best practices in data protection. She resigned from her post. The Montana Highway Patrol has released data about the number of fatalities during 2015. According to Colonel Tom Butler, there was a slight uptick in fatalities over 2014 and one easily identifiable leading cause of those injuries. We were uh, in excess of 220 fatals in 2015, and nearly 180 of those were not wearing seatbelts. You know, that's a, when you compare that to any group of people or sporting event or anything you go to, I mean, that's a, that's a significant number of people who all aren't with us going into 2016, unfortunately. Butler said the uptick in fatalities was notable in Billings and Haver, Missoula, and the, on the other hand, a very, had a very slight decline. 2014, there were 27 deaths in the Missoula district or the western part of the state. Um, that does not include Kalispell. That's its own separate district. And in 2015, there were 26 deaths. So it was, you know, again, we're still talking about 26 people who had friends and family and relatives and hopes and dreams that all came to an end in 2015, but it, it, it was pretty much a status quo year. Of the 224 Montana crash fatalities last year, a lack of a seatbelt was involved in 80% of those deaths. Entrepreneur Greg Gianforte released fundraising data yesterday for his gubernatorial exploratory campaign. Gianforte's team reported raising over $315,000 in the final quarter of last year, more than a half a million total. Gianforte also released a statement announcing that he'll bring an end to the exploratory phase of his campaign soon. I continue to be humbled by the tremendous support and encouragement we're receiving from across this great state. It's clear, with Montana being 49th in the nation in wages, that Montanans want someone from the private sector who can turn things around. I'll be making my final decision on running before the end of January. Gianforte highlighted the fact that 83% of his campaign donors were Montanans. An inversion that's been trapping stagnant air in the Missoula Valley for the last several days has triggered a stage one alert. Here's air quality specialist Ben Schmidt. We've had this persistent high pressure ridge that's been over the area and, and we now have some weak systems coming through. However, because the 
cool or cold air in the valley floors. Uh, we're just getting no air movement down on, the, on our level. So the air pollution's basically been climbing the last few days, and we had to call a stage one air alert today. If you have a wood or fireplace, you cannot have visible emissions in the Missoula air stagnation zone at that time. And that's a pretty big area. It's not just the city limits. It goes out and includes most of Lolo, all of East Missoula, you know, and out to the Y. Our news talk time now is 612. News Talk, KGVO. Missoula's official weather station. Mostly cloudy skies today with a slight chance of snow. Highs will top out in the mid-20s. We'll see increasing chances for snowfall tonight into Thursday with light accumulations possible. I'm meteorologist Brooke Foster for Missoula's KECI 13.